Hi everyone, my name is Jenny and I'm here with Dr. Tanisha Burke for Parenting the Fascinating Way. And Dr. T is going to talk to us today about power struggles and how best to manage that regarding school schedules and extracurricular activities. Hi guys, welcome back. So it is the start of the school year for many of you parents and you might be getting lots of information sheets about different extracurricular activities that you'd like to have your children involved in or your children might have interest in some other areas. So the power struggles usually come because children don't want to participate in um, extracurricular activities or they don't want to participate in what the parents prefer that they participate in. One of the first things we need to realize as parents is to ask ourselves, why do we want our child to participate in this activity? Is it that you're trying to fulfill a dream from your childhood through your child? If that's the reason, that's not a good reason at all. You have to resolve your issues relating to childhood and not you know, fulfilling your dreams in that particular area. So once you get that out of the way, your intentions, of why you want your child to participate in extracurricular activities, there are certain things you can do to reduce the power struggles. One of the first things I'd recommend is have your children get lots of exposure for the next couple of weeks to different types of activities so that they can have a better idea of what they are interested in. Once you get them exposed, try to get them to talk to professionals. So they may be coaches, um, you know, musicians and so on. Have them have a heart to heart with your, ch your children. Have them talk about, for example, the struggles, how long they had to practice, what kind of um, what 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 kind of challenges they had to overcome, and you know whether or not they had mentors and so on. Have your children have that kind of conversation with a professional so that they can get somewhat of a real life experience. Also, you can take them to the events. So if it's um, musicians, you can take them to a concert or a sporting event so that they can see it in action to see if something that they would really want to do. Also, you can also make sure that it's important that you don't compare your children. So there will be some activities that your child, one child likes, for, for, for example, athletics, and there may be others like science. So make sure you understand that your children have different interests and lived experiences. Now, if you're having a power struggle with your child, not wanting to practice, not wanting to join certain clubs, it's time to have a heart to heart, get into their world, find out what it is that is a challenge for them because they may actually like the, 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 the activity, but because they feel stuck in a particular area, they think it's not best for them. Mm -hmm. So ask them, what are your struggles? Uh, what do you think you can do to solve it? Do you need me to get somebody to assist you outside of the regular class so for example they're doing piano do you want extra help or do you want me to sit in your piano lessons to give you some form of support getting into your child's world will help you to understand the challenges and if you get to understand what their their challenges are you might realize it's not something that your child wants and then you can have other options share your experiences i think a lot of times as parents we want to hide our past or more children share how difficult it was when you lost a baseball game when you came second in a recital or when you were performing in a recital and you forgot your notes and how embarrassed you felt when you have that kind of heart to heart your child will realize that you know you're also human and you're there to support them so those are some of the tips that i think can help to reduce some of the power struggles expose them to a lot of activities get them expert um, exposure as well as it relates to conversation support them as much as you can try not to compare your children and you know they might end up doing something that you don't like or you don't prefer but it's best for them and their personalities and their goals so those are some tips for you thank you so much that was great we will be back again next week so please follow us so subscribe like comment and share and we will see you then thanks so much Take care. Bye, bye guys bye.